be a lot easier if I had a vacuum chuck. I could just do this straight off the bat, which would be really cool. I wouldn't need to bother with any of that stuff. I'd just stick it on. For Christmas, my daughter has asked for a cake stand because she loves making cakes and loves watching Bake Off and she wants to display them nicely. So I've made her this beautiful cake stand, or I think it's beautiful, out of some locally sourced ash. Uh, it's really nice, but I also thought it'd make a really nice project for a video. So I was going to make a couple more to sell. So I thought I'd show how I was going to make them as well. Work holding is the issue with these. So it's how to mount stuff on the lathe. So I've got this nice board of um, ash there. And I'll run it through the planer actually. Because uh, it gives me less work to do later on. And I'm going to cut out some discs now. I'm going to do 10 inch discs for the top. And then probably half that, about 5 inch discs. For the underside. I've got a split here but I can use uh, some of that there. I'm going to cut them out on the bandsaw, get them roughly right and then I'm going to turn some uh, out of scrap, some scrap pine here, some temporary mountains uh, but I'm going to turn so that my um, chuck can hold on to it is the plan. So let's get these cut, get some of these cut, get these on the lathe, glue them up and I'll leave them overnight. I'm doing two of these at a time, because it's as well to make two as to make one. So that's my kind of sacrificial um, mountain plate, the, the chuck to grab onto. So I've sanded this piece off nice and smooth, so it won't need much to touch it up when it comes uh, to the final bit. So I'm going to now glue that onto there. I've got the same with this one as well. And the idea is that we'll turn those away towards the end. A rub joint like that provides enough addition. Then you glue on and we'll rub it back and forth. Right, never be good to turn in the morning. Okay, so these have gone off now, and they're glued on. So I've got my sacrificial kind of chuck on the back, or mountain for a chuck on the back. I'm out there on that on there now, and the idea being, I can turn the back away now. I can put the tenon on. I'll um, use a chuck in the tail drive. So drill a t not a tenon, a mortise. I'll drill a mortise into there, smooth this off, and then hopefully, because this is a planed board and that is flat and that was flat, there won't be too much wobble when it comes round to having it this way. And I'll be able to once it's all glued up, and I'll clamp it up using the tail stock. And I'll just be able to turn away that chuck, just leaving a little bit, which I'll knock off and then sand it down. Uh, so I'm going to turn this piece next, then turn the, the base. Again, like I said, I'm having to mess around a bit because I've just got the one set of jaws on this chuck, which will work for this. There is, I have more sets there, but they're not ideal for what I'm doing. So I'll probably turn a tenon, turn it round, do the mortise, turn it round, turn it how I want it, um, drill a mortise into there. To take the base and then I will cut this down into two lots there to make the stem in between and then I'll glue them up push them up tight and that will hopefully look like a cake stand
So I'm going to treat these with a couple of coats of tongue oil. Smells rather nice. And I bought this the other day. It's um, the material from tea bags, so it works pretty well. So I know I could finish some of this on the lathe, but I always think if you've got to put gloves on twice or whatever. You might as well do it off the lathe and do the whole thing at once. Give it a coat. Then tomorrow, actually New Year's Day, I will give it another coat. Now, it's quite obvious when doing this that there is a lot quicker ways of making these than I have. I think a vacuum chuck would be the winner, but there's fun in just using what you've got. I think it helps your skills develop. Ash, such an underrated wood, I think. It's got some really nice grain to it. We'll leave them to dry, give another cut tomorrow. And then they should be finished. Obviously don't leave an excess of oil on them. This first coat does soak in really well. Okay, so there we go. The project is finished and I think it's come out really nicely. Um, daughter was really, really pleased on Christmas. I've written a nice message in the bottom to her. I think it's a great project. It involves using the chucks uh, in different ways. I think gluing on a sacrificial uh, tenon is really cool. And just a bit of between centers turning as well, making some quite accurate tenons to go between um, what was in tenon joints and then gluing it up, making sure it looks right. And I think it's just a nice project to do. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the thumbs up, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.